Thank you, sir. Sir, the bill seeks to amend the constitution order 1950 to modify the list of scheduled tribes in relation to the state of Karnataka to include the Beta Kuruba community as a synonym of Kadu Kuruba in entry 16 in the list of scheduled tribes of Karnataka as requested by the state. I would like to thank the Honorable Chair for allowing me to speak on this bill and support on behalf of my party. The Beta Kuruba community is spread across the most backward and remote areas of Mysore, Chamarajnagar and Kodagu districts and has struggled to be accorded the ST status for the past 35 years. Thus, I thank the Union Government to bring forward this bill which provides the community with the much awaited ST. The Beta Kuruba community will now be avail able to avail the benefits entitled under the existing government schemes for scheduled tribes. Sir, the Beta Kuruba community is largely a forest dwelling, dwelling tribe engaged in hunting and collecting forest produce. However, the collection of forest products is seasonal and thus they have no work in, in other periods leading to low economic stability and even poverty. Therefore, the government must formulate schemes to provide more economic opportunities to the tribal community as well as skill, develop, skill development schemes to overcome poverty and unemployment in the community. So when it comes to education, tribals struggle with the lack of transportation to their inhabited areas, making it difficult to access basic facilities such as education. Hence, it is hard for tribal children to go to school. This has also contributed to the high literacy rates within tribal communities. There is further problem with the functioning of the tribal ashram schools in the state. There is a high dropout rate at these schools and even those who reach SSLC are unable to read or write properly as per findings. One of the factors responsible for the high dropout rate is the medium of instruction for the tribals, English or even the state language, Canada is alien and hence it is important to develop modules and lessons to impart lessons in their respective mother tongues. The government must also conduct programs to eradicate illiteracy and provide proper guidance to these children to broaden their opportunities. And when it comes to health, sir, the National Fa Family Health Survey and the reports of the expert committee on tribal health indicate that tribal women and children suffer from a high rate of undernutrition. Even the kitchens of the ashram school which provide food to the tribal children are reported to not, not to be cleaned properly. These findings are symbolic of a larger problem with long-lasting effects as mal malnutrition among those under five years of age. Affects their cognition, learning ability, and even lifelong learning. Given that tribal children are more susceptible to multiple forms of undernutrition than the other groups, the government should address their nutritional challenges to remove any barriers to their development, sir. So, the Beta Kuruba community on other tribe or other tribal communities live in temporary huts or dwellings. The, major, the majority of the community does not have permanent houses. Therefore, it is necessary to provide a permanent settlement to the Beta Kurubas. Government should work on providing permanent housing facilities to tribal communities. Sir, I would like to take this opportunity to highlight some of the successful endeavors undertaken by our state government toward the socio-political and economic upliftment of our uh, tribal communities, sir. The government has worked for the empowerment of tribal women and pattas were given for the land under the, uh, under the cultivation of uh, tribal farmers. The pattas were issued to tribal people who were cultivating banjar lands. The state ha also has a dedicated ST, ST sub plan for funding schemes for tribal people, sir. To reduce the gaps in the development of STs, uh, the government facilitate access to better livelihood and employment opportunities for STs and ensure students reach the higher education sorry, uh, higher echelons of the administration. Andhra Pradesh also runs the YSR Vidyonathi scheme under which the state government provides free coaching for civil services examination for scheduled castes and scheduled tribes. Sir. The state's admission into corporate colleges schemes provide admission for meritorious poor students belonging to ST into repeated private junior colleges. Under the Manabadi Nadu Nedu program, tribal ashram schools were also renovated and provided basic amenities. Under the Jagjeevan Jyoti, the state government has extended the benefit of free power of up to 100 units to ST consumers and SC households, consuming 125 units per month and would also be supplied free power, sir. The scheme has benefited thousands of ST consumers. Therefore, Andhra undertakes a lot of welfare measures to uplift its tribal community. I would request the government to extend more funds to state to help us in scaling up our efforts towards ensuring a better status for our tribal people, sir. 
generations of tribal people run the risk of staying deprived of equal opportunities if the government does not act with urgency thus these suggestions i support the bill sir thank you thank sir. you thank you